Hello everyone, Michael here. We're back again with another video. Today we're gonna be taking apart this uh, coin miner. Uh, this is the C16 Max with a 113 terahash uh, computing power. And since this is a, a brand new miner, this is a new, a, a new uh, ASIC miner in the market, so we want to show you guys what's inside the miner itself. So the front side, as you can see, to get access to the hash boards, we have to take up this top part, which is which is just fits with a few screws. We have the, the control board here, and we have to remove this front grill. Then we can get access to to the hash board. But obviously, the hash boards are connected to the to this control board for uh, for the data data cable as well as the power supply which is on this side so we're gonna go ahead and speed up the video and I will take it apart and I will show you what's exactly inside this uh, Koi Miner C16 Okay, here we have it. So we took off the top part. As you can see here, uh, I'll show you guys uh, a little bit closer. Okay, so we have this connection for the power connection. Uh, so we have uh, the positive and the negative connection from, 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 from the power supply. And here we have the data cables that go in directly to the to the control board and from the control board we have another data cable that goes to the to the power supply and from this side as you can see we have the fan uh, plug one fan plug is going to the control board and the second one is going directly to the to the power supply so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect these uh, power supply connections and we will, as well as the front wheel, and then take out the hash boards. Okay, so here we have it. I already took off the front wheel, so now we have access to the to the hash boards. But before we pull the hash boards out, what we need to do is we need to disconnect the data cables that are connected to the to this uh, control board. So I will go ahead and do that. I will just disconnect the first one. Okay. This one is done. And the reason I'm wearing those gloves is because I don't wanna, I don't wanna touch the miner with any uh, static electricity so that it doesn't, doesn't cause any, any problems or any harm to the, to the electronics. Okay. I, I could have took off these as well but I don't think it's necessary because you have enough space to work here so 
I'll just save some time and we'll just leave them as they are right now for a week. Okay, here we have it. This is the control board. And those are the uh, data cables that connect to the hash board. So we have ha four hash boards. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the first one. Okay, it's a bit heavy. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just put it on a vertical position, okay, just like this, and then I'm gonna pull out the hash board. Okay, here we have it. You can see here this one is a little bit dusty because it's been running for quite a while now. We did it, we did a lot of tests on, on this particular unit. But we have it, here we have it, this is the hash board. Basically the only thing you can see here is the data cable connector. And we have the connections for the power as well. And let's see if we have double heat sink for cooling. And basically that's it. That's the only thing you can see from here. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna pull them out. All, all the four boards and put them out and show you the, the case from the inside. All right, so just we just done some some cleaning, so. Here we have the, I show you guys, this is the frame. I've cleaned it uh, as much as I could. Uh, this is not like deep cleaning, but it's good enough. So we got uh, most of the dust out of the uh, of this uh, uh, frame. I've done the same as well to the heat sinks. Just be careful when you deal with those heat sinks because they have those edges are really, really sharp. So just make sure that you're wearing like gloves so you don't you know you don't hurt yourself it's not uh, it's not very clean but it's better than before uh, for the fans the fans are pretty clean so I don't I, I don't have to do any job on those but you know it's very very important to maintain your your assets uh, asset miner that goes for any other uh, for any uh, ASIC miner. So it's very important to clean them, let's say every every three months, that will depend on the time uh, between the, you know, the, the maintenance of your ASIC will depend on your uh, mining environment. So if you have filters installed into your farm or depends on the location of your farm, your, your mining at, so that will reduce like dust, but these machines are meant to run like 24 hours, so basically they will accumulate a lot of dust. And you, that dust, uh, you know, will accumulate for and start reducing the performance of your, uh, of your ASIC miner, especially when it comes to uh, cooling. So we recommend everyone that is using an ASIC miner to, you know, to at least give them a clean, you know a little bit of cleanup every every three months okay so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put back everything back together and we will turn on this miner and show you guys uh, that it's it's gonna be uh, running fine without any issue so i will go ahead and do that i will install back the first of all i will install the, the fans back and then the hash ports and then I will do all the connections, the data cables connections, as well as the uh, the power supply connections, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so 
we'll put it back together. As you can see, uh, everything is put back together. The only thing we need to do now is plug it in and test it and see if everything works uh, properly. All right, so I'm gonna connect the power the power cord and as well as the Ethernet cable, and then we'll give it a go. Okay, so far so good. Uh, the money is on. I'm uh, gonna go through the computer and check if it's mining and if it's working. Okay, here we are on the computer, and I, I just logged logged into the uh, to the miner. As you can see, it's running fine. The hash rate right now it's at 96. It will take up to 10 minutes uh, to reach the maximum hash rate. But so far so good. There's no problem, and I just checked the log, and the miner is running fine without any issue. So as you can see here, the the miner is getting work uh, from from the pool, and the hash rate is building up. Ninety seven, as I said, uh, is going to take up to 10, 10 minutes to reach the maximum hash rate, which is between one hundred ten and one hundred thirteen, uh, give or take. So. We took apart the miner, put it back together, and it's still running without any issue. That's it for this video. Uh, hope you guys really enjoyed, and uh, this video is going to be helpful for some people. And let me know in the comment section if, uh, if you have any other questions regarding this miner or any other miner. If you want me to do a video uh, taking apart any, any other miner, please let me know, and I will try my best to get it done. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.